Right, because of stupid ass COVID this year, um, there's no Christmas market on downtown. So it's normally like a Christmas market and, you know, some friends and I go down there and we go to the German bar, you know, you sit around, you drink mulled wine and have, you know, hot chocolates, etc. So I decided to build my own swing and barbecue because obviously you always have hot dogs or bratwursts on the German market. Really nice. Yeah, so I decided to build my own swing and barbecue. So I got this old desk. I'm going to basically use the top part for this to make some tripod legs. I'm going to cut those up in a second. I've got an old barbecue rack and I've just bought some metal to go around the edge. I'm going to really weld that around the edge. I've got another bit of tubing just to make another third leg. got a bit of scaffolding that's going to go on the top so I'm going to cut off a bit of that in a second. Okay, I've got a load of chain underneath there. It's going to go through the scaffolding at the top, it'll be in the tube. So then I'm going to weld the three legs onto the top of the scaffolding. The chain will go through and I have three anchor points on the um, sort of like hanging grill. And then that way you can lower the grill up and down above all the heat. I've got like an old fire pit that I'm going to use for the flames. So first things first, I'm going to basically angle grind a bit of this off. Um, only need a little bit, so I need to hold it all together. Right, so I've got these old um, legs from a desk of mine, so all I need to do is take the weld off of here and then one off of here and I'm going to reuse that bit. Okay, so I've prepped our three legs, so I've prepped ready for welding together. So I've just clamped up the, the uh, metal shelf tray, whatever you want to call it, and I've just marked that I'm going to cut it here. So I'm going to wait, basically weld here, weld here, weld here. And then weld here once I've cut it. And then what I do is I just tack this guy down onto it. Right, as you can see, I'm not the best welder, but it does the job. I've welded inside, outside. Just tighten it up the grinder a little bit. Just right, does the job. Got our base now, so I don't think it's really too bad. Bit rough and ready. Obviously, it'll be chained up and painted and stuff, so. That'll be alright. In order to get the weld nice and tight, basically I've clamped it to another bar, so when I weld it, it should be pretty good. Now right, so I've got my three legs all welded up, and I've cut the top, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to weld a little plate in, and then that's going to go through there, and that way it can tilt. So what I would have is on the scaffolding bar, but basically they're going to come out, three of them, all at a 33 degree angle sort of thing and then that way it can tilt backwards and forwards. All right, so I've got two of them done. I'm gonna have the third one and I'm sorry I apologise earlier I said I was gonna weld this. What I meant was that I'm gonna weld that onto the scaffolding bar. That'll go in, that can then pivot so the legs can be put out quite far and then that way I can actually just fold it up and store it. Alright, so just finished welding the top. So this is the bit that's going to have the chain going through the centre. And it will have the legs pivoting off of these arms. So I'm going to give it a bit of a tidy up with grinder. And yeah, let's start drilling some holes. Alright, clearly this is not about the skill in my welding. So I've drilled the holes. It's looking okay. Looks like a little bit of a missile really. Whoa. Okay, so there's the top of the tripod. Tripods. So the idea is the chain will go through here. So I'm just trying to do the camera work as well as that chain can then go up in there, obviously. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a series of bolts welded in here. So then you can just clip the chain on. Alright, I was getting a bit of wobble on the arms because obviously it's pivoting on this. So what I've done is basically put some bolts either side. You could use washers, but I don't even have any washers. So as you can see, this one's quite loose. So what it allows you to do is just put your fingers in, turn it and tighten it up. Okay, so I've just badly welded three chains on. When I say badly, uh, it's all right, I can still hold. So the chains are only about a foot long. So the idea is they will just hang above there from one master chain. So there's my swinging grill. So basically I prized apart um, 
some of the chain and put a little swivel in there just to allow it to rotate easily that rate, uh, and that can take up to 20 kilograms so i don't think we're going to be cooking that much meat maybe a couple of tomahawks so five kilograms maximum load so i yeah, just put it on my gym bar thing so yeah a bit of a polish up give it a clean should be good to go soon okay so we're now above the fire pit so i've welded a couple of bolts i cut off earlier onto the sides just to help hold it on that's the top bit so obviously wearing a sensible pair of gloves you can always then have a safety put that on there Oh, I'm just going to lose it. And then we're going to lower it down. There you go. So, in the end, I only probably need about two metres of chain, three metres of chain.